Hey guys, welcome to PJ's Coin Capers. So this is the video where we actually give away the coins that we found in episode three of PJ's I Find You Keep. And um, I will be announcing exactly who that winner is very shortly, but yeah, we, we found a few nice coins and we did add in uh, one or two as well. But um, certainly some nice finds that uh, hopefully the winner will appreciate, but I will announce that very shortly. But I'm gonna do some noodling for now and um, I will announce that uh, later on in the video. And uh, I asked basically the question of, I needed questions. I needed questions to ask you guys so that I could be able to pick winners when I do these style of videos. This is not one of those videos. I'm just noodling for me today. Um, but we're gonna go through a number of coins and just see what we can find. But uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the responses that I got. And um, I just wanted to say I really do appreciate all of the questions you guys have sent in. There are so many. There is, um, it was actually really difficult. I thought it was going to be fairly easy to choose a winner. Um, but really, many of you could easily, uh, I could have easily have chosen your answer. Uh, because there were some really good questions. And I certainly will be using uh, a lot of your questions in future videos, but uh, I've just chosen one one question I thought that I'd be interested in just having a um, just to hear some stories, I suppose um, and uh, that's why I've chosen the the winner of this particular one, but there are many good questions out there, and uh, a few of you have actually given me some very long lists, so thank you if you're one of those people who went to the effort of, um, of creating some long lists of questions for me to find answers to. Um, but I will announce the winner very, very shortly, shortly, but let's just go through a few of these roles and see what we can find. 2014, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit further here. All right, nothing there. So a lot of the dates that we're going through here are all um, very common dates, um, nothing too special. And uh, I'm really just looking for either rotation errors um, because that, that can pop up on any coin. So you need to be able to rotate them. Um, to be honest, I haven't really found any rotation errors on $2 coins. I think they're the ones that I, I haven't found anything on, but certainly dollar coins, 50 cents definitely, 20 cents definitely. Uh, maybe some slight rotations on some 10 cent coins I've possibly found. And maybe, in, oh, I think I found a, a 2006 5 cent coin that had a, a rotation to it as well. So, um, yeah. All right, we're just going to scatter these out. I will be checking a little bit for some dates. Oh, there we go. We've got a little color right there so Gold Coast 2018 almost, you'd almost think there was a slight rotation on this one depending on how you hold it I'm not sure exactly where it should be held maybe try that if that's the right spot well then that's correct um, yeah I'd say that the quail is slightly on an angle then so yeah that becomes the first uh, coin of interest in this particular hunt. We'll just see if there's anything further in here. No, I don't believe so. No. All right, I'll push those aside. All right, let's do a dollar roll. So from what I can work out, this video that you're now watching right now is my 499th video. I'm pretty sure that's right. So my next video will be a, a 500th. So I'm going to make that one a giveaway video. So make sure if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so. And uh, if you're enjoying this kind of content, Give this video a like as well as my next video my 500th and uh, we'll certainly turn that into a special noodling session 
and uh, we'll make sure we'll um, make sure it's a giveaway video. So look out for that in coming days. All right, so not finding anything as yet. So essentially I'm looking for anything that pops out of the ordinary. So it's good to sort of get an understanding of what the mintages are of certain coins and it'll make it a lot easier to go through the coins and all of a sudden you'll it'll become like just second nature to remember basically whether or not they are a high or a low mintage coin and you'll find coins that you are always coming across and more than likely they're going to be a high mintage coin Alright, and the final coin of this roll is a 2014 Anzac. Alright, push that aside. We haven't done any 20s. We'll do a 20. So I tend not to really do many 10 cent and 5 cent rolls. Certainly, I, I like doing 5 cent rolls probably by myself off camera. Uh, I find it easier just to look at the dates on the coins and then you know, get through them a bit quicker that way. Um, they're, yeah, obviously a very small coin and um, really there's not heaps to find with five cent coins. Um, but if you do find something, it's, it's usually going to be very worthwhile finding. All right, so I tend to stick to the larger coins. Ten cent coins, very little to find to be honest. All right, we've got a chance here for a wavy. So the 1966, the wave is one of those holy grail coins that you want to try and find. We'll flip this one over. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a wavy. If it was, we would have been, well, pretty happy. Um, but the bottom line here is actually like got a wave. But uh, have a look at some of my other videos and you'll find exactly what I'm talking about there. Or Google it and uh, you'll find the answer very quickly. People will put up some good photos of exactly what a wavy looks like. So 1966 20 cent wavy is probably what you want to Google and you'll certainly see some good images of that coin. All right, so we'll get through this roll and then I'll announce the winner. And then we'll do a little bit more noodling Alright, no, nothing in there, be nice to find a Federation 20 cent coin, we found a few 50s in our last hunt, but I don't think we've come across any in our, I was just looking there for a die crack, I thought there might have been a die crack on one of those. Alright, so let's uh, bring these coins back into view, so these are the coins we found in the last hunt, a robe, cud, uh, a couple of Federation coins, I think from Victoria and Western Australia. A couple of sporting uh, dollar coins, as well as a coloured uh, two dollar coin. All right. So now the winner and the the uh, the question I'll be asking in the next. Well, I might not ask it in the next video, but it's certainly a, a question I will ask at some stage, but um, it's certainly one that I'm interested in knowing the answer to. And the question is, what started you off in collecting coins? So you don't need to answer that this time. We, I will uh, answer that one in, uh, ask you to answer that one in, in a future video. But uh, Karen Davies 3481 is the winner. And uh, if you could make contact with me, Karen, I will send these coins that we found in um, episode three out to you in the mail. All right, so let's put these aside. We'll do a little bit more noodling. All right, let's get back into a 50 cent roll. So not long now until the mintage report comes out, uh, usually at the end of October. So it's certainly one of those times where everyone likes to speculate on what's going to be high or low mintage and uh, we won't need to wait much longer. But it's certainly going to be an interesting annual report this year from the fact that we don't have any circulating 2023 
coins. So it's um yeah, this is this would be a keeper. This would be one that I would uh, put aside as one that um, I would either give away. But uh, yeah, 2019 JC Effigy. If you're not familiar with the differences, see the JC Effigy on the right and the IRB Effigy on the left is the one that was replaced. So uh, actually the 2019 IRB Effigy is actually probably more collectible than the JC Effigy of 2019 just because the mintage is just that little bit lower. All right. Nineteen eighty-two com games, plenty of those are about. Two thousand seven, you can find some different sort of uh, errors on those particular coins. I did check that one, but there was nothing worthy of uh, pointing out. Same on the two thousand and six, you can get some sort of. It's the same on the both coins actually. The two thousand seven and six, the die breakdown around the zero and the five. I think we'll finish off this hunt very shortly, but uh, we'll open up another $2 roll since that was the roll that we were successful on. I'll just point something out to you as well. See this sort of doubling, this sort of, it's almost like there's a, like as if a, a different a smaller coin has been used, like a five cent coin. This is very common to be slightly off center. And that's all it is that creates that uh, double sort of lip there. Similar to what happens with the Australian um, $1 mule coin, but it is, it is not the same, it's, it's correct. And there's really nothing special about that. And I bet you if you go through enough rolls, you'll see it all the time on the $2 coins. It's very common, um, very common to find doubling on some of the $2 coins. But uh, yeah, go through them slowly. Look for certain different errors. You can certainly find... Certainly with the $2 coins, there are some errors that you can find um, in relation to being uh, minted while there was, say, grease or some sort of oil on the die that uh, doesn't allow for the, all the details to be pressed into the, into the coin. So certainly well worth taking your time to go through because... Those kinds of things do come up from time to time where you're missing the date or missing parts of the words. So spend your time going through them. I tend to spread them out a bit just to save a bit of time because we're really just looking for coloured coins. But the 2011 is certainly one worth um, putting aside. It's a low mintage coin at uh, 1.8 million or 1.7 million somewhere around there so certainly well worth going through and trying to find those guys as you work through your two dollar coins all right guys that is where we're going to finish off this video i hope you've enjoyed uh this little hunt i know we didn't find much but um if i opened up another 10 rolls i'm sure we'd find plenty all right guys thank you very much for watching and bye for now